This is a calculation of a, a project uh, where I'm trying to transfer my sigma calculation uh, into MS project so I can get the bars in straight away from my calculation. As you notice, this is now uh, this toolbars, the toolbars here are in Danish. And the reason why we're using Danish toolbars here is because when I turn it into the English version, this transfer doesn't work that good. It works imperfectly in this version. So in order to change your, your English toolbar to a Danish toolbar, you go into Function, which is Tools, and then Instillinger, which is Options, and then you go into Language, and then you change it here to, English, uh, to Danish, not to English, to Danish, from English to Danish, and then you click OK, and then you reboot uh, the program. You close it down first, and then you reboot it again, and when you, when you open it again, it'll have the Danish uh, toolbar ready for you. We now want to transfer these into MS Project uh, so we can get the uh, bars in MS Project in the Gantt bar. So we go into File and use this over for till, which means send to and send to project. When we do this, we will get this dialog box. We need to put this word LUN. You can use the Google um, keyboard to write the word, uh, this, especially this letter in the middle, and paste it where the word salary would be. So you just paste this word in here. You can uh, make many levels of bars in MS Project. You can toggle up and down this, but I, I'm going to stick to two right now. Notice here that there are seven and a half hours per working day. When I click OK, it should begin to go over to MS Project. You see everything's been sent to MS Project. And then MS Project opens up. And then I have this problem here. No bars have come over. And this, you may have this problem yourself. The way to solve this is to just simply close MS Project down like this. Uh, there must be something wrong with the calculation. So I'm going to make a new calculation using this old one. So I'm going to go File, New, and choose the new calculation, and write next and give it the name, for example, Estimate of Construction Project, and I'm going to call it 2 this time, because this one already has a name, uh, 1. I'm going to write next, and then I'm not going to write anything here, I'm just going to click on here so everything disappears, and write next again, and execute. And then I'm going to I'm going to just simply drag the, these over. I'm going to drag these over over to this one here. And then uh, you can see it's there already. The slab over the basement is has been dragged over there. I'm going to test this one. So I'm going to mark this. I can just collapse this for a moment. I'm going to mark this, and I'm going to try and send this over to see if this will go over. And uh, again, we use this word "lun." Click OK. And you can see the bars have come up here now. And, and this is what I do. I'm just going to close this down and write no. And I'm just going to bring all the other uh, bars over. I'm just going to pull them down into the new one, number two. Because this, I found this is a, a very uh, easy way of coming through the problems sometimes with whatever problem there is in this file. Instead of copying it over, I just pull them over again. And hopefully they will come over all of them without this problem with the bars. So I've simply pulled them all over now into this one here and I'm going to close this one down or at least collapse it and try and send this over again. So I'm going to send it over now again with Lun there in seven and a half hours click OK and you can see all the bars have now come up if I, if I scroll through these, you can see all the bars are here. I need to give this a title, so I'm going to go into Format and put the title up, and you can see the estimate, uh, the title is here. And another thing I need to do is to show you what uh, the time, you know, the times that have come over from uh, my um, VNS prices. If I click here, mark this column, left click, and right click, and insert a column, I can insert W for work, uh, and you can see the hours in here now. Uh, 
you remember I said that uh, I was sending it over with seven and a half hours per day. Uh, this this is the number of hours, man hours, it takes to do this piece of work, the outer wall. So one man would use 73.1 hours or 9.75 days. How do I get the 9.75 days? Well, it's the if I use my uh, my calculator here, if I put the number of hours here, 73.1, 73.1, and divide it by the 7.5 hours a day, I get the 9.7, which is what I have here. So this is how this is calculated. We need to make all of these fixed work, because right now, if I split my screen by going into view here and using details and splitting my screen, when I rest on, a, on, a, on an item here, you can see it's fixed duration. Everything here is fixed duration. I need to make this fixed work because when a man has this amount of hours to do, then that is called fixed work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the split and I'm going to mark all the activities up here. I can use my, uh, my shift and my um, down arrow. Then I will go into task and information and then I go into advanced and I go into task type and I use fix work and click OK. Now everything, when I split my screen again, if I go into this part here and double click to split the screen, you can see everything is fixed work. No matter what I choose, it's fixed work. So everything is now fixed work. That means that if I put on resources, the, the first resource I put on will have the same duration of the bar, but the next resource will half the bar. Let me just split my screen again, view and details. I want to make this, uh, uh, I want to get the number of hours in, into this area here. So I'm going to put on, uh, this is uh, an uh, outer wall plinth, and this is, is going to be done by a concreter, so I click on here and I write in here concrete and I'm going to put one unit of concrete on one person because this is for one person when I click OK here the 73 hours will come in there and the duration will stay at this 9.75 and that's what happened here the 73 hours are here 9.5 but from now on if I put two uh, people on here there's only one person on now if I put two people on the hours will stay the same but the duration will be halved. So this is going to be uh, less than uh, five hours, five days here. So when I set two people on here and click OK, then you get something just less than five days as you can see here. So the more I put on, you can see the less number of days, but the number of hours stays the same and the bar gets smaller and you can see the number of people working on this activity. Now I will put uh, people on these other activities and then we can connect the bars together. The number of people you put on the activities is up to you, but uh, it, it depends on, uh, on how much time you have for the, for the total project. Now in this case here I've uh, got an outer wall and this is going to be a brick layer, so I'm going to put mason on here or bricklayer you can also use and if I start off by putting one person you notice the hours go over here and the days stay the same but as soon as I put on two people the hours begin to uh, stay, they will stay the same but the days begin to half so now I've got the number of people are, let's say I want to to have about eight people on this team you can see the bar breaks down so in this way you would choose your activity and you choose your resource and start off by putting one and then once you do the next one you will have uh, the bars uh, break down. Once this is done then you can link all the bars together. For example if you want to do this first and then you want to do when this is done you want to do this activity and so on. In this way you'll be able to link all your bars together to get a, a plan for the project.